customer service starts from the first time that a customer rings the office. The important thing about gyms is that we answer the phones live. People don't like to talk to a machine, so somebody answers the phone. All of our admin centres are overmanned by normal circumstances because we have a, a KPI which actually says that 80% of calls should be answered within 20 seconds. So answer the phone fast, very important. Obviously we need a polite, friendly, courteous response on the phone. The girls who answer the phone are knowledgeable. They're all people who understand the gym system. We don't use any outside companies. So if a client asks a question, we can give them an answer. Now that's something that we look at, and that's not directly to do with franchisees, but if a franchisee is not happy with the way the phones are being answered, we would encourage them to let us know about it so we can do something about that. After that, what we then do is we page out the job to the franchisee. The franchisee then, this is the most crucial step of all, has two hours to get back to that client to give them a return phone call. Now, ideally, two minutes, ideally straight away. And what we've found is the quicker they get back, the more chance of getting the job. In fact, statistics show we did a survey of 2,000 clients and we found that the one thing that determined more than anything else whether we were gonna get the job was how fast that initial phone call came. If it was after two hours, the chance of missing out on the job doubled. It didn't matter so much when they quoted, it didn't matter so much when the job was done, but the important thing is when the call came. And not only that, but most of our complaints are simply from that one thing, failure to phone back. So it's very important. Some people say it's, it's like, you know, it's, it's not a real complaint, it's not like a service complaint. Actually, it is a real complaint. And a franchisee can lose their franchisee for no other reason than failure to call back. Okay, franchisee's made an appointment, Next thing that's got to happen, they've got to turn up, turn up on time. If, they, if you, they can't turn up on time, then they ring the client in plenty of time to let them know. Second biggest problem we have at gyms. In fact, those two together, 95% of our complaints, the vast majority of problems we have with customer service are two simple things. Phone back, turn up on time. When a franchisee arrives, very, very important in terms of customer service is presentation. Wearing the full uniform, top and bottom, themselves and any workers. Vehicle and trailer properly presented with the correct signage. This is part of customer service too. We found, for example, that customers from our surveys will pay on average about 15% more to somebody wearing a uniform to somebody not wearing a uniform. So we present well. We listen to what the customer wants. We find out exactly what they want to try and give them the perfect service from their point of view. We explain to them the advantages of our service. We're polite, we're courteous. That's probably the most difficult part to do because it's not totally objective. It depends on a person's salesmanship, but not terribly difficult overall. If any job over $100 at least, we give a clear written quote. But under $100, good idea too, so a person knows exactly what we're going to do for them, and um, ask for the job. Now, the interesting thing about all that is, if we've done everything right, if we've answered the phones properly in the first place, if we've rung back quickly in response to the phone call, if we've turned up on time, if we're wearing a good uniform, if we present reasonably well, the customer really, really wants to use us. And most people would just pretty well accept the price. But what we actually would challenge our franchisees to do at that stage is to lose at least 25% of their quotes. Because basically, if you're getting all your quotes, you're charging too cheap. And the great thing about great customer service, it's not mainly for the benefit of myself, of the franchisors, of the gyms group. It's mainly for the benefit of the franchisee because if we give great service, then we can charge the customer a very good price. There's only really one simple rule, and that is we keep the customer happy. Customer satisfaction is the only thing that basically matters in customer service. You can give the greatest job in the world, but if it's not what the customer wants, then 
you haven't done the right thing. And of course, if you do far, far more than the customer wants, and it doesn't mean anything to them, then you haven't achieved anything extra. So our basic aim that we try and work on is that the customer be satisfied. Ideally, what we're after is we want to amaze the customer, we want to exceed their expectations. We want them to say, wow, that's fantastic. That is better than I expected. And it's, it's a great thing to say, but we did a survey a couple of years back where we rang these 2,000 clients, as far as possible, one from every franchisee in the system, and we asked them how satisfied, and more than half, 52%, said we exceeded their expectations. And that's basically the reason why we find it so easy to find work in gyms in most divisions. One simple rule. We make the customer happy. So 99% of the time, if a customer has a problem with a franchisee, they explain it to the franchisee and the franchisee fixes it. That's it. Vast majority of franchises would never have anything else happen. If there was a situation where the customer is not happy, but the franchisee feels that they've done the right thing, what we would do is get the franchisor involved, the master franchisee. And he will come, or she will come, and inspect the job and see what they think needs to be doing. Now, if they can see a problem with the job in any way, and we will lean very much in the customer's direction, is anything at all wrong with that job, the franchisor will simply say to the franchisee, fix it. If the franchisee can't or won't fix it, then another franchisee is brought on, they'll fix it, and the first franchisee is built. Now, in a very, very rare situation where the franchisor agrees with the franchisee, and sometimes customers can be unreasonable, we offer a mediator. We bring in somebody from the industry, could even be a competitor, could be somebody from the building association for the right division, some from the horticultural college for mowing, somebody who really knows their stuff. And we make a deal with the customer. We say, we will bring this person in to settle this problem, and we will do anything they say, no matter what it is, no matter what it costs, we actually pledge ourselves, we will fix that. And we'll pay the mediator. The only thing we ask from you as a customer is if there's nothing at all wrong, not even one cent to be spent on this job to fix it, then you pay the cost of mediation. That's, that might happen, as I said, once a year to the whole gyms group, very, very unusual. So the basic rule is fix the customer. We, we have a high conversion rate. Our figures show that about 75% of all leads that we take result in jobs being done. And a very high proportion of those go on to become repeat and regular clients. And that is the whole reason why we find it so easy to find work at gyms, relatively speaking. It's, it's an odd situation. People always talk to me about finding clients. And I say, listen, in the past year, the mowing division alone had more than 30,000 unserviced clients, and we spend probably 2% of our turnover on advertising maximum. It's all about customer service. The first step, and the most important of all, is the selection procedure. Because what we found from experience is that 90% or more of our franchisees give fantastic service. All of our problems tend to come with under 10%. So what we try and do, we try and select people, we find people who really care about customer service, who just have an internal sense of pride. Now, everybody who wants to come into gyms before they're even accepted in any way, they should go out on the road with a trainer, or ideally two trainers, and be trialled. And they should be marked and we should look very carefully. And if the trainer says no, that person should, if either trainer says no, that person should not get a franchise. That is the first and most important thing we do to drive customer service. 